Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here bringing you today's video from the United States of America, the land of uh, oversized portions and everything possible that can be ordered from Amazon Prime to your home the next day. What a fantastic country. And one of the exciting things that you can order from Amazon Prime, which I have been wanting to try for years and which finally arrived yesterday, is none other than this kosher MRE. For those who haven't heard about MREs, an MRE is a meal that's ready to eat. It's basically a shelf stable meal that can literally just sit in your pantry for generally years. These things are really popular among preppers and for those who haven't uh, picked up the vibe yet from this YouTube channel, I definitely consider myself to be something of a prepper. Uh, but this one is uh, particularly exciting because it's actually a kosher MRE and as a kosher keeping traveler traveling in the US, I won't eat meat unless it's kosher. So this is actually a kosher uh, certified MRE. It's produced by a company called KJ Poultry. And uh, the one I've gone for is the Ready Meals Bone-In Chicken. I checked out the listed shelf life on this and uh, this guy has an expiry date of almost 2027. I'm recording this video in June of 2023. So this thing will literally sit on your shelf for uh, four years. Um, basically what this is, uh, you know, it's a uh, bone-in chicken. It says here served with uh, carrot uh, zimmers. I have no idea what that is. Uh, potato kugel, I do know, and farfel, uh, which I think is like some wheat thing. And looking at the front, because people keeping kosher are usually concerned with stuff like uh, rabbinic certifications. So it says it's got a glatt kosher sign on it. Uh, it's got a Bishul Sephardim sign on it. And uh, it's got another couple of uh, kosher uh, certifications, hashkachot, uh, but those are uh, more than enough for me to, uh, to know this is kosher. So this guy is gonna be three minutes in the microwave. Uh, you can also cook it in boiling water on a hot plate or on a stovetop blech. The list of ingredients, ingredients does, it sounds like something kind of a little bit out of a, a chemical factory. There's chicken, water, carrots, egg, barley, sugar, food starch, and a few other things. This thing cost me about $13 on amazon.com, so these things aren't actually that cheap, uh, but you can also buy them in multi-packs and it's a little bit cheaper. I actually remember these way, way back in the day when I was still living in Ireland. There was this program from uh, the Chabad Jewish organization, it's probably still going on, called the Roving Rabbis, and it was these two rabbinical students who would travel around uh, the country to meet Jews in far off places. And I'm pretty sure I remember these guys rocking up with one of these uh, kosher MREs. So anyway, that's enough of an intro. I'm very excited to uh, try it. Gonna put this guy in the microwave and uh, see how it turns out. Okay, so after three short minutes in the microwave, we've gone from having something that arrived in Amazon Prime packaging this morning to uh, kosher meat in the middle of a place where, to the best of my knowledge, there isn't any uh, kosher meat. Uh, so this is it, I've just uh, done my uh, plating work and as you can see, there is a bit of chicken here and there's some uh, farfel. Um, I'm gonna just uh, use some of my beloved Melinda's hot sauce, which is also kosher certified in order to bring up the taste level um, a little bit. I'll put some on the side and try it 
uh, without it first and uh, I'm very intrigued to see how it goes. So let's try firstly the meat and uh, it's, uh, you can see here on the inside it uh, looks pretty tender and uh, well cooked. I'm not sure how they preser preserve these things in a shelf stable way but perhaps this is, one of those, this is one of those things, those questions in life that you don't need or really want the answer to. So let's, uh, let's give the chicken a shot. Um, honestly it's not bad I mean this isn't the greatest chicken I've ever had I want to say that firstly but it does it doesn't taste that strange it's kind of what I was expecting that it would have this kind of weird uh, texture from whatever kind of conservation process it just tastes like normal chicken and uh, let's try a bit of the farfel now mixed in with it mmm that's not bad either I mean look it's a little bit kind of mushy the texture isn't incredible but if you were to you know give me like a blindfold taste and say did this come from your typical shabbat meal on a black and i would say by the way if i got served this as a shabbat meal i would say it wasn't bad it was like an average chicken couscous kind of situation i would probably i would never guess that this came out of a box um so for 14 dollars in terms of the portion size you get i've just kind of played up about half but i think you'd really need the whole thing um, in order to feel satisfied i guess it is pretty expensive but such is the price of kosher meat in the us unfortunately my serving tip as always get some if you like hot things get some melinda's uh hot sauce and you're just gonna pour, put some on the chicken and we're gonna hopefully bring up the uh, flavor profile a few notches Mm, much better um and that's it guys so i have if you're a kosher keeper and you're traveling the usa uh you can get these in multi-packs of like six uh 14 is a bit cheaper if you get them in the multi-packs they have a chow mein one which i was intrigued to try this was the bone-in chicken the company's called kj poultry it's certified black kosher and uh if you want to keep kosher on the road and have some meat while you're at it get one of these things. Thanks for watching guys. Hope this uh, video was uh, was uh, interesting. And if you want to get more videos about uh, Israel and Jerusalem as a general themes and the occasional review of uh, kosher MREs, like and subscribe.